Is protest really the answer? Yes or no? The risk of violence in protest are of the high stand. Protests can turn violence resulting in injury or harm to participants and even passes by. And it can also result to arrest and legal consequences. Protesters may face arrests, fines or other legal repercussions. And protests will always disrupt activities of daily life. Protests will disrupt traffic, businesses and every other aspect of our daily life. Negative publicity. If a protest is going on in a country, that country gets negative publicity. It might affect the economy of that country at the time. Ineffective outcomes. Protests may not lead to desired changes or outcomes. Talking about the entire protest, did we really achieve what we wanted at that time? Was the result gotten out of it? Protests can create division within society rather than fostering the unity that we're fighting for. Resources intensive. Organizing and participating in protests can require significant money, time, and resources. People need to come together, raise money to put everything in order. Raising awareness. Protests can bring attention to important social, political, or economic issues. Influencing policy Protests can also pressure government to change laws or policy. In the little time that this protest had been made known, talking about the protest that was supposed to come up on the 1st of August, the government came up with increase in minimum wage. These are the things that comes in place if protest is successful. Building community. Protests can unite people. The ANSAS protest showed to the world that Nigeria can have one voice. The youth came out in their number and they stood their ground fighting for what they know is their right, with shared concerns and create a sense of solidarity, promoting democracy. Protests can hold leaders to be accountable and to ensure that they deliver power fairly as promised before elections. It encourages change. Protest leads to reform and improvement in society, bringing about a positive change and a positive rules and laws governing the country. Remember, the impact of a protest depends on various factors. This protest, do we have enough social awareness? Do we have enough knowledge? Do we know what we are fighting for? Do the people who are how to protest? Do they know what they're fighting for? Do they know why this protest is coming to be? Including the issues, organizations, and the responsibility of, of the authority. If there's going to be a protest, let it be peaceful. Let it be for one cause. Let it be for one Nigeria. Let it impact change in the life of an average Nigeria. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and let's share your views in the comment below.